Hey guys, today I'll teach you how to install uh, LAMP stack in VPS. LAMP stack or PHP MySQL Apache of something. This is called LAMP stack. So we will understand step by step. We will not escape any video, uh, any steps. Okay, and I will not cut any video part so you will understand clearly. Okay, so I have a, a VPS server which is a 2 GB RAM, 45 GB hard disk okay and it's a server IP is this one if you have a, a bot from anywhere in other companies the all the VPS has the same process and I have installed Ubuntu 18.0 or 4 and if you don't have a Ubuntu you can install from here install reinstall Ubuntu and it will you can select your latest and uh, your favorite uh, ubuntu version okay and then you have to type your use uh, password and password okay so it will provide an ip address when you bought so let's copy and you, when you visit the ip it will show error message okay so now we uh, need to log into our putty our server okay so this is my putty so let's log in and install php mysql and apache and it will ask yes and put it a root my username and password you can type any of your password and password is simply just this one uh, which is uh, here uh, yeah this password whatever you will part type it here this is a password of our server and now we have a logged in you can see so next thing what we have to do uh, First we need to install apache so very simple command i will teach you okay so i can type simply manually sudo apt and update okay up update but while typing i can make a mistakes okay a spell mistakes a spelling mistakes so to remove that problems i already have a block where i have put it all the commands to install apache let's copy this here and paste it here so this will be pretty handy for you and for me okay so this is a very uh, small block a post and you can read it here so it will uh, it's taking a time guys so now uh, our apache sudo apt update updated and then the next command is for sudo apt install apache 2 so let's paste it here let me close this one okay sudo apt install apache 2 let me show it here which is this command and hit enter okay so it's taking a time 49 point something uh, megabytes so let's type it uh, it will take a space of such a uh, in a, your hard disk and in your server in your uh, whatever you will call okay so it will take a time to install apache this is apache okay apache 2 sudo apt install apache 2 so guys i'm not escaping any video part so let's try it it's a restart uh, without asking let's make it uh, yes or no whatever you will when you press the tape key of your keyboard it will be uh, ask like this up so no and uh, this release open ssl file on security so will not use this fix until they are registered something like yes yes okay simply you have to put it okay okay yes yes no no it will ask us some questions okay and we need to give answers of that so pretty easy and then next command we need to allow a firewall okay adjust the firewall for that we just need to simply copy this command and paste it here okay and it ask apache apache full apache secure and open ssh so for that we need to allow this full apache okay apache full let's copy this one and paste it here and uh, why 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 okay 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 it's it's registered a full apache okay then we need to allow st i think there is a two times mm -hmm. okay this is for info and this is for that okay so let's copy this url 
sudo apt allow this is for info and info is just this one and let's paste that command and okay rules has been updated no worries about it and then we need to go to our ip address http and our ip address so simply just copy this your ip address let's copy and paste already have paste re refresh so if you see like this of a screen it means you have installed uh, apache okay it's pretty easy you can read uh, it here then uh, we need to install uh, mysql so just simply sudo apt install mysql server so let's copy this and paste it here and it enter okay 157 megabyte it will take a space in our uh, hard drive of your server so guys it will take a time because this is a big file it's not a big file but just depend on your computer network disk speed how it is and how fast so progress is 96 percent it's pretty easy it's so simple the people's uh, when pod uh, vps they are confused and they are uh, purchased a managed server and these are the more costly but the unmanaged server like uh, these it's uh, more cheaper than a managed server okay so it's updated on ubuntu then next thing is just for secure our mysql this is for securing okay so just copy and paste it here so press here press for yes if any other key for no yes okay so it will ask me uh let me close this one uh it, it's asking me uh how your password is strong so zero for low one for medium and two for strong so i'm typing one for medium password and let's type it your password you can put any password it will not show here okay and it enter it will ask a new password retype password and confirm password and hit enter do you wish to continue the password provider yes okay remove the anonymous users uh, press y for yes and any other key for no remove anonymous user anonymous user is root okay so no and this allow root login remotely mm, yes 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 this allow root login remotely we can log in yes no problem and uh, remove uh, test database and access to it mm, let me yes and it enter reload the privileges tables now mm, yes okay and then all we have a set okay all done so let me next step is check uh, uh, our mysql install or not so let's copy this command sudo mysql and let's paste it here so it's install uh, mysql has been installed uh, successfully okay if you see like this up uh, uh directory okay and then we need to check our authentication method and something the users and how many users in our database okay in our server so let's copy this and paste it here so as you can see we have a user is root and uh, something let me zoom in so you can see clearly yeah here 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 user host authentication is string and plugins okay you can just simply uh as you can see that the root user doesn't have a authentication string means it doesn't have a password okay it here we will set a password and we will log into our uh, authentications actually my washing machines uh, buzzer are uh, uh, disturbing me okay so sorry for that uh, let me change the password okay so we will alter a uh, password of our database so i will uh, i'm showing my password okay so don't worry i will remove this password from my server let's copy here and paste it here okay and hit enter after semicolon maybe hit enter i think it's take a semicolon hit enter 
okay so zero query has been updated okay means our password has been set to this user okay and next is uh, next is plus the privileges okay copy and paste it here and hit enter so query has been updated and then let's check our password will be here let's copy okay and uh, now is this time this root and host is local host and here is blank okay but when we execute the same command okay we want to check our table after this command okay let's put it Uh, command is this one copy and paste it here and it enter so now you can see our password has been set so exit from exit it exit it here okay and then install php let's copy it here and paste it here so it will install a php i'm doing a, a little bit fast okay because so uh, already video is uh, bigger than expectation okay it's taking a time and then next command is for change um, okay this is a nano uh, code editor okay in apache in a ubuntu apache so this is a nano command nano editor and we will change uh, to index.html to index.php file okay means uh, whatever your ip is this one and if have a in in a in your directory if have a uh, uh if have an index.php like this index.php it will not run okay it will not run but if you, it will run on html okay so we will change the uh, index so it will run first php and then it will run, run uh, html okay so for that we have to install we need to check okay so it's uh, done then we need to copy this command sudo nano and we'll check the dir config file and it enter this is a nano command and you can change this to index you can put it php index and php okay and uh, in place of php you can put it html html okay space and uh, when you how to save when you escape okay mm, where to save control x okay control x and it will it's asking save modified buffer save or not okay if you type yes so it's saved okay okay so now we uh, get back to it here and then uh, then we need to uh, restart our apache server let's copy and paste it here unable to host and something but don't worry uh let me uh let me upload uh one file whatever you have so suppose we have a file on a server just so uh, index.php and any file okay and let's open in a code editor and uh, let's put it a php tag and here is just Uh, we will uh, use a filezilla to transfer a file 
on a server and the same IP we will use it here which is this IP address and username and password ok then put it uh, our IP address and here is the host name and uh, root name username is root and password is whatever you have a password ok and uh, port number is 22 and quick connect and it will ask a save a password yes it's connecting and guys as you can see this is a root and go to here let me let me let me local where it is www home okay and uh, home have etc and etc have uh, ww of something let me show you r r r r etc home and uh, war okay and then we have a ww and here we will upload our website i think this is a html file okay so let me delete this so our when you refresh this page it's gone okay and we will upload our own file so let's uh, upload which is here you can drag and drop it here so this is index page oh guys i have opened something here let's uh, open it here like this up and file has been successfully uh, uploaded so let's refresh uh, here and you can see this is this content is coming from our newly uh, uh, vps server which we have installed uh, lamp sticks all php mysql and uh, apache all the three things has been uh, for working it's working on our server so guys if you have any questions and doubt you can write a comment i am here to help you so thanks for watching once again uh we will see you soon till then bye have a nice day bye bye